Welcome once more, great and lovely people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world. Um, today is a day for exposition. Many hidden truths has been revealed, even the ones we know and the ones we are quiet about because we want to respect Mazin Amdekanu and allow him to speak about it himself. But this woman always tries to you know push us to the wall but we have been keeping quiet but then uh, master prophet has opened his mouth to certain truth and we are just going to touch a little light on it for people to understand and we are going to leave it at that and allow mazin amdekano to do that exposition himself because it has to do with mazin amdekano but before we go into the full exposition i want you to watch the water water because as it is, some people do not know that Woto Woto is still ongoing in Biafra territory. I want you to see this Woto Woto. Happening live. You know in Abon State, it's happening live. This, uh, this is Zoo Soldier. Are you seeing them? This is Zoo Soldier. The Zoo Soldiers. This idiot is down. We tell you to leave our line. No one here. Mad people. See them? See this one is down. This one is down. Kill a lot for them. Nothing to happen. We there. We there. Oh, bye bye now. What do you hear man? Nothing to happen. Now we there. We there. I'll land with it. Nothing will happen. Anybody who put body, you go collect what auto. It's happening. So that is the water water that happened in Ebony and it's still happening in other areas of Biafra territory because the warning has been sent to them. And that was why the chief of defense that came out and said and made that statement about mines and IEDs. They are receiving heavy water water, but people do not even know what is happening. Mm -hmm. That is why it is called, the, 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 the chief of defense staff called it asymmetric warfare. Now let's leave that and move into the real discussion of today. I want you to watch this. <laughs> the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Everybody, ma, no one will go or Kenya. Any human any, I don't get you on guard. How long can I get on the man at Kenya? Jukota on Juga on guard, you see, on one name, okay, but I just did like Kenya. The answer is no. Only one day, why you better be today in Kenya? The answer is no. Although no one could what a great mamma, she America, I say, better be today in Kenya. On Ali, on ye, I need my better be today in Kenya. Oh, he go, oh, he better be today, or somebody else, why you also on ye. And you have to understand that Mazin and the Khan is located to Kenya. So this is in England. Now, you have listened to what Master Prophet, the in law to Mazin and the Khan, you have listened to what he said. I know the reason why he came out to say this thing was because of the lies that Uchechi Khan, the supposed wife of Mazin and the Khan, told on Radio Biafra. Now, what, it, what is he saying here? He said that Mazin Namdekano moved to Kenya a long time ago. That it was not just a visit, that Mazin Namdekano has relocated to Kenya. Meaning that he now resides in Kenya for a long time. And he went further to say that nobody visited Mazin Namdekano in Kenya. Not the supposed wife, not the brothers, not anybody that the only person that was recorded that visited Mazin Namdekano in Kenya, where he relocated to, was a lady from America, a very beautiful lady from America that visited Mazin Namdekano in Kenya. Now, the question is, since Mazin Namdekano relocated to Kenya, what was his wife doing in England? Why did she not relocate to Kenya with her husband? 
the second question you would ask yourself from this information is why is it that another beautiful woman from america is visiting mazenam the was now the person who visited mazenam the and what led to the relocation of mazenam the from england to kenya now i want you to hold these thoughts i have another video i want to bring for you but now hold these thoughts these questions we have asked just hold it and watch this next video there are some things that we are doing that some people may not know though they may be in the hierarchy they won't know because it's for their own good it is not everything that everybody knows i am the one who knows everything people know what i want them to know in order to preserve the sanctity of the movement and to stop uh, people from outside from penetrating and destroying us from within we shall form a government when our people give us that very mandate and i'm not going to tell you how that mandate is going to come because if i say it now our enemies will go and block that very access but it's going to come very very soon and the world will be short our plans are impacting now did you hear what Mahasin Amdekanu said in this video it was a program a live program where people were asking question question and answer question and answer okay before i even go into explaining this thing how when last did these people hold a question and answer session and allow their friends to air their views and make suggestions and talk when last but the prime minister always come on space allow people to ask him questions respond to questions when last because they have nothing to offer so if you ask them question they don't have anything to respond to you now let us go back into this video mazenam decano said something he said that he knows the route he knows uh, uh, everything that he needs to know for the actualization of biafra but he is not going to you know divulge that information to everybody that even those who are in the hierarchy does not know everything now who are in the hierarchy the dos he, he, he said those even those in the hierarchy does not know everything so he is directing the message to the dos and those top officials that claim they are top officials of ipub that they don't even know what mazinam they can know on how to get there from amazon can went further to explain one in that same video he said we are going to form a government how we are going to form that government we would we would, you know get the mandate from the people and how we are going to get that mandate from the people you we, will not, we are not going to tell you has simon ever not formed the government how he formed the government did you know he has did uh, done a referendum and the referendum is still ongoing and the people has given him the mandate have they not given him the mandate to declare biafra they have given over 50 million votes have given him mandate to declare biafra now ask yourself question why are these people against simon Ekba? when they know fully well that this is part of the plans of mazinam Kano to actualize biafra why are they against simon Ekba? That is the question that should be ringing in your head those of you that think that you want to support the dos why are they against this man simon Epa? now hold that thought i think i have another video to show you just hold this thought why i bring up another video now you will see a picture on the screen and that picture um it was a message in response to what um, people's gazette posted mazen amdekano himself responded and that response was on the 14th of june 2021 now i want you to have him at the back of your mind that one of the reasons why these people are fighting simon Ekba actively was that they say that he is buying a zoo military and they say in the process that he is causing the militarization of the zoo, of the uh, biafra territory we all know that biafra territory has been militarized for a long time even before the the coming of simon Epa. but these are the things that they are the propagandas that they are you know putting forward you know they continue to put forward this propaganda and saying that simon Epa is spying uh, uh soldiers and then these soldiers are some of them are Igbos. now 
I want you to f- read with me what Mazen Namdekandu posted on uh, 14th of June 2021. What Mazen Namdekandu posted. He says, News Nigeria Army begs Boko Haram Iswap terrorists for reconciliation. That was the, 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 the message People's Gazette posted. Now, the, this is now the response of Mazen Amdekanu to this post. He said, and after reconciliation, they will be rehabilitated, recruited into the army, and sent to the south to shoot to kill. Now, you see why I, I keep calling it a terrorist army and Nigeria is zoo. Mazinam Dekanu knew about their activities a long time and he started calling them terrorists from a very long time ago. The same people that Mazinam Dekanu was against is the same people the DOS are currently protecting, telling Mazi Simon Ekba not to go against the zoo military. The same zoo military that is causing chaos in Biafra territory. Now, I want to open your eyes to the reason for this post that I just made now. Now, if you think critically and cast your mind back to what has happened before the kidnap of Mazen Namdekanu from Kenya, you will discover that Mazen Namdekanu created ESN because he has seen all these atrocities happening. He created ESN. At least there should be an armed group to fight and resist these oppressors. He created ESN. And if you are not aware, ESN was having heated battles with the oppressors who are this military. Are they going to deny it? They were having heated battles. Going forward, the, we are now approached this DOS, if I need your four, Uchechi, Kano, and uh, uh, this one that, if I know, bah, this one that just died. They were all planning on how to, you know, arrest Mazinam de Kano because they have seen that he has created a group of people who are now well armed and defending the land against this uh, zoo military who are terrorists they started planning and that was why he Jofo ran back to the east saying that the governors were calling him these people were calling him for security reasons he Jofo, are you a security personnel no what is your position? Why are you being called? Because he was close to Mazen Namdekanu. They wanted to get information on how to kidnap him. The wife was involved. Namde, uh, uh, Jofo was there. Ifani Oba was there. And these DOS members were aware. They were aware. Now you have kidnapped this one. Thank God for the wisdom given to Mazen Namdekanu when he said he doesn't want to expose all his secrets to these people. He kept Simon Ekba on the side, separated him from these DOS and these people so that they would not corrupt him, sent him out. Because if he had brought him close, who knows, Mazen Simon Ekba would have been in Kenya with Mazen Namdekanu and both of them would be taken. But he separated Simon and told Simon, continue from this area. Whenever anything happens, take over. And that was why uh, this man called uh, 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 Master Prophet came out one time and said that Mazinam de Kano almost made Mazi Simon Epa his deputy. You people need to be connecting the dots of these things that are happening. I do not want to go deep into exposing the wife of Mazinam de Kano, but you need to understand. Now, bring those informations we have gathered from the beginning of this video together. What is the wife of Mazinam de Kano doing in England when her husband has relocated to Kenya? How and who did Ifan Uba go to see in a hotel 
in England, where he has house and his children in England. Who did he go to see in a hotel? Who was that lady that was rumored that he was with when he died in a hotel? <laughs> Another information I want you to have a second look into is what was the wife of Mazenam Dekano doing in the chambers of a man, Ifani Ejiofo, uh, uh, that his, her husband has already sacked. Her husband has discontinued his services with her. What is she doing in the chambers of that man? If there is, if there is no clear definition of betrayer this is a very clear definition of betrayer your husband has sacked someone who was serving him because he saw that that person betrayed him or is betraying him he sacked that person and you as the wife of that man who sacked that person you went to that person your husband sacked and was fraternizing with that person what do you call that put these things together and ask yourself if Mazen Amdekano is still with that woman <laughs> <laughs> Some of you will be shocked when Mazin Amdekano will come out and and possibly come out with a, a new wife. You will not believe it. But we are not going to discuss this. We are going to allow Mazin Amdekano to come and tell us that which is truth. We are just talking on what Master Prophet has revealed. Though we have so many informations, but the PM has said nobody should talk. Allow Mazina Dukan to come out and do that exposition himself. But for now, I'm not going to go forward. We are going to wait and continue to observe them. Biafra first. Ototirono.